Hi. Hello. How are you? See? Now Kevin's like, okay. How are you? Nobody talks like that. So he says, okay. I got to I got to tone this bitch down. Watch. Uh, I am well how old are you? Look at that. I'm well how old are you? Surprise question. I'm 25. There it is. I'm 25. How are you? I'm 25. This is why Kevin's the man, dude. This is why he's undefeated, man. This is why he's undefeated. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you got for me? Um, honestly, okay. I'm going to be really open and honest. I've been watching you for only the past week. Um, and sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't really... I don't really know what kind of advice this woman is looking for. Um, um, listen, I'm sure she's I'm sure she's very nice. I'm sure she's I'm sure she is a lovely individual. But women who look like this only need really one kind of advice. Hashtag Planet Fitness. I'm a little nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. And genuinely, I've learned now that I'm not where I need to be at all. No. Are you serious? She's not where she needs to be at all. Well, whatever gave you that idea? At least she's got her natural air. I actually do have a high value man in my life. Um, I'm sorry. Say that again. <laughs> it's okay. And genuinely, I've learned now that I'm not where I need to be at all. Mm -hmm. I actually do have a high value man in my life. Did this woman just say she has a high value man in her life? Did she really, did she really just, did she really just say, did this woman really, just, listen, listen, check this out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put it to a vote because maybe I'm blind, right? Like, listen, maybe this girl is a 10 and maybe my standards are just too high. Just, just let me, let me go ahead and put a, let me just go ahead and take a, let me just go ahead and take a picture. This woman said, this woman said she had a high value man, did she? So let's ask the question again. Did she really say she had a high value man? And listen, let's just take a closer look at her. Let's take a closer look at her to gauge her properly. Let me go ahead and put her picture up here. Now, you look at this. You look at this. I mean, is, is that a 10? Is that a 10? I mean, I mean, I don't know. Is she an eight? I mean, I don't know. Because apparently, apparently she has a high value, she has a high value man in her life. I don't see it. I, I really don't see how a woman who looks like this could have a high value man in her life. I've been wrong before. Guys, please tell me in the chat if, if I'm blind. In the meantime, let's continue. And okay. until watching you, I didn't realize how good of a man I actually have around, per se. Mm -hmm. And... I'm kind of just wanting your advice of if I'm going to be able to particularly keep this man. Because How old is he? So, I'm sorry? How old is he? He's 28. I, I, I could not let her get away with saying I have a high value man in my life. Couldn't do it. I, I'd stop it right there. Ma'am, you and I both know you are full of shit. This is why Kevin has a million subscribers and I do not. He's 28? He's 28, yes. Okay. Uh, He's just a Henry, as you call him. He's not okay, actually yeah. like... Yeah, it can't be high value in my schema. Under yeah, there we go. Okay. He's just 30. a Henry. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay. How long have you guys been together? We have been seeing each other for two years now. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, were his mother and father married? Um, They were, yes. So awesome. you guys have been together for how long? Two years. Let me say this, though. We are both poly. We both live our life freely. It's not you're like... Both, you're both poly? Okay. Okay. All right. So now now we know. Now we know he's not high value, guys. Now we know he's not high value. Not even close. I recently talked about the difference between what the world wants us to think polyamorous relationships are and what actually is. Take a look and listen. On your screen is what is what the internet, the world, would have you believe is the typical polyamorous relationship. This is the typical polyamorous relationship. It is, dude, it is almost always one extremely unattractive woman and a bunch of extremely unattractive guys. So, 
The fact that this woman says that she is in a polyamorous relationship, as good as tells us that the guy she's with, not only is he not high value, he's not even a Henry. This guy, honestly, honestly, this guy's not a Henry, man. Anyone who would be seen with this woman in... <laughs> Henry's would not be seen with this woman in public. I don't know, maybe she, maybe she's a side piece, maybe he's smashing her on the side, nobody knows it. But, yeah, that, I mean, either, yeah, yeah, she... I, She's, listen, she's capping. She's capping. There's no, there is no way, there is absolutely no way a man with with a modicum of value would go anywhere near this chick. Yes, sir. All right. Does he have any children? <laughs> he has one. How old? But it was one of those situations. He's seven. How old? Nobody gives a damn about that. See, look, she's already making excuses for him. Okay. Seven. Mm -mm -mm. And you're asking me if you can keep him around? Dre Raven on Sharpstream says more like Ro more like Raleigh polyamorous relationship. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, because I'm starting to realize that I grew up in a single mom household. Um, my mom was African American. Here we go. Did that whole bit where she took me away from my dad, that type thing. And I'm realizing now that I learned a lot of those bad qualities when it comes to treating a man. But I and, want to me, but, but you want to keep him around and what and what status oh as we are now we've already spoken what? of like later on just building on what we have and okay, but sharing our partnership okay. and then okay, possibly so, you know but but not marriage an open relationship oh boy yes but marriage is the end goal for the for the money security i'm sorry that sounds okay well, okay check this out <clears throat> James Martinez just says her stomach is bigger than her top. She's a three at most. James, I disagree. I think she, dude, honestly, I, I don't think she has any sexual market value. Like, I mean, like, dude, incomplete. Is she a, is she a one, two, three, ten? Dude, like, like, dude, she's she, like, she doesn't make the scale. And you want to know why? You want to know why? Because she has what is affectionately known as booty do. You guys ever heard of booty do? Hmm? Y'all know what booty do is? I know some of y'all do. I know some of y'all know what booty do is. So let me explain what booty do is. I'll actually tell you the first time I actually heard about this. <laughs> it was from a, uh, a good work friend of mine in Vegas. Uh, his name was Glenn. And he was trying to smash this uh, obese broad. Her name was Latia. Right? And Latina was like, you ain't got nothing, Glenn. You faking jacks. I guess that's what they used to say back then. You faking jacks. He said, shut your ass up. That's why you got booty do. I said, Glenn, what the hell is booty do? He said, her stomach stick out further than her booty do. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I think that is the last time I truly cried. I truly, like, tears streamed down my face. Tears streamed down my face. Dude, I laughed so hard, my abs were sore in the morning. Any woman with booty do doesn't qualify. Doesn't qualify for what, Donovan? No. Let me say that again. Women like her do not qualify. So now you ask this, well, what exactly does she qualify for? No. The answer is no. Donovan, you didn't give us an answer. She's got to qualify. The answer is no. What does she qualify for? No. No. You guys, you guys see where I'm going with this? Donovan, would you drive would you rather drive a Lamborghini or a Bugatti Veyron? Yes. Would you rather have key lime pie or chocolate cake? Yes. Would you rather smash Lizzo or smash the chick on the screen? No. You guys understand? You guys understand? This woman has booty do. And when you have booty do, you don't the only thing you qualify for is a gym membership, sweetheart. Is a gym membership. I need to be, okay. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Glenn in Vegas. I know your I know your crazy ass is still out there. Okay, well. Does he want to marry you? Um, we spoke of it. That's a no. That's a no. But as of recently, he says he couldn't even think of that because of the fact that I basically, sorry, it's very, it's a little humiliating for myself. Um, I don't 
necessarily respect him at all times. You what know, do you mean? Uh, what do you mean I'm very unpolite at times. Wait a minute. Hold up. So this girl is telling Kevin that this dude doesn't want to marry her because she's disrespectful all the time. He said he couldn't even think of that because of the fact that I have booty do. He doesn't want to marry you because you have booty do. Ay, ay, ay. So this woman is lying, right? This woman is clearly lying about why this dude doesn't want to marry her. But this takes a, a whole different turn. And Kevin makes this broad pay. Watch and listen. Basically, sorry, it's very, it's a little humiliating uh -huh. for myself. Um, uh -huh. I don't necessarily respect him at all times. I don't necessarily respect him at all times. Guys, let me tell you, let, let me, and I'm about to put you guys up on game. If you guys haven't heard anything I've said all day, you need to listen to me right now. Listen to me right now. A lot of guys like to ask me, Donovan, I know you are against men being in relationships with women who are overweight. I know you don't, I know you preach against it. I know it's not something you're supposed to do. However, what if, what if I motivate her to lose weight? What if, what if I help her lose weight? Could I do it then? My answer is then hell no. Would you like to know why? Here's what happens. And I've actually done a video on this before. Here's what happens. When you wife up a woman or get with a woman who looks like this, who looks like this, and she ends up losing weight through your help or somebody else, she's not going to stay with you. Well, wait a minute, Donovan. Why wouldn't she, why wouldn't she stay with me? I mean, if I, 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 I helped her lose weight and I was, I was by her side and this and that and the other, why wouldn't she stay with me if I'm the one that helped her lose weight? Well, because she now has more sexual market value than she used to. That's why. And in her mind, and this is really messed up, but this is how, this is how women think, but they do not realize they think this way. In their minds, when they lose that weight, they now have disdain for their soon-to-be ex-boyfriend. You want to know why? Because this woman is thinking, this guy got with me when I was 300 pounds. What's wrong with him? What's the matter with him? Right? Let's just say she, let's just say she loses all the weight in the world and now she's a lot thinner. She is now going to, she is now going to punish her soon-to-be ex-boyfriend for committing to her when she was overweight. Because women inherently know in the back of their minds that men who commit to overweight women are not high value. They are not attractive. But Donovan, that's not fair. It was her that he committed to. So she's the same person. No, she's not. No, she's not. And she does not have to stay with him. Listen, man, just because, listen, look, look, look. And a lot of people like to think this too, right? A lot of people like to think this too. They, 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 they try to be fair-minded with stuff like this.